Carrie here. I'm pretty excited about some things I've been learning that uh, I want to share with you. And uh, basically, I want to tell you that between artificial intelligence and 5G, your life is going to change very dramatically in the next 12 months. By this time, December of 2020, you're going to have on your smartphone a personal assistant that will be comparable to the personal assistant that Donald Trump has, that Michael Bloomberg has, that Jeff Bezos has. And it'll all be because of 5G and artificial intelligence. The first thing you need to understand is artificial intelligence and the power of computing. The largest and fastest and most dominant computer in the world is a computer called the Summit. And it's made by IBM. And it's housed in a building the size of a football field. And it's a series of the largest computers stacked on shelves with servers consuming a whole football field. Up until October of this year, it was considered the fastest and smartest computer in the world, capable of handling the most data of any computer in the world. In October, Google introduced a quantum computer. I'm not going to go into details because I really don't totally understand what a quantum co computer is, but it's the size of a refrigerator. It was put to a test and it was asked to solve the most difficult problem that the people could go at Google could come up with. It took this quantum computer 200 seconds to solve the problem. That problem then was presented to the IBM Summit and IBM estimated that it would take 10,000 years to solve the same problem. This is huge. This is changing the complexity of computer science astronomically. What it's going to do is it's going to make artificial intelligence, the, the ability to take massive amounts of data and process it and compare it and come to decisions unlike we've ever we've ever seen in the past. To give you an idea, it's estimated that it will, com it will cure, find a cure for virtually every form of cancer and every disease by 2030. By gathering the data from all sources, millions of sources of data, and then comparing it and sorting it and coming to decisions. This is massive. So how is that going to affect you in the next 12 months? Well, by virtue of the fact that the data on you and me and millions of other people has been being collected through the internet and the various sources of the internet, mostly those of four, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, and Google, collecting all that data and all the data about anything and everything, decisions will be able to made, be made quickly. And the power of those decisions will be on the next introduction of smartphones. It's estimated that the decision-making process will be roughly 100 times faster than what you're, event, you're currently getting on your phone 
with 4G. It's estimated by the end of 2020, there will be 300 million handsets with 5G and quantum capability, quantum computing capability by this time next year. Now, what does that mean to you? That means you will have a personal digital assistant in your hand, in your home, in your car, and Amazon just introduced a pair of glasses which will carry Alexa, which will be Amazon's entry in the personal digital assistant. In your home, in your hand, in your car, and in your glasses. What will this mean? How, what, what are the practical applications? Well, I'm in the real estate business, so I'm, I'm thinking and I'm, I'm researching how it's going to affect real estate. In one of my earlier videos, I mentioned that um, Rich Barton, the CEO of Zillow, made mention of the Zillow app that will allow you into a house 15 times, and then you, through that app, will be able to buy a house with one click. Okay, so let's take Rich's tease and carry it forward with artificial intelligence and 5G. With artificial intelligence and 5G, you're going to have, let's use Alexa as example, um, in your home. You and your wife and your family are talking about a new opportunity for a job in Kansas City. Because through your conversation with your family, we know, or Alexa knows, you flew out to Kansas City, knew that you interviewed for the job, and you came back and discussed it with your family. Alexa knows everything about your current home, knows about your likes, your dislikes, your hobbies and your habits, and your desires and your wants, and has all this data available. Now, you have made the decision that you wanna to move to Kansas City. You tell Alexa, we wanna to move to Kansas City, we want at least this home, but we also want a media room, we wanna walk out, daylight basement, and we don't want a pool in Kansas City as we have here in Birmingham. We have two children. Their ages are 10 and 14. The 14-year-old boy is interested in football. He's a good student. We think he's probably going to go to law school. The daughter is involved in music, loves to play instruments and sing, and we need good schools and we know all the things that are important to us. Alexa, find us a home in Kansas City that fits our lifestyle. Alexa will present, and, and you'll say, and Alexa, have that available for me this evening and have me the resumes of three real estate agents that are appropriate for us and have it printed on my computer when I get home this evening. And that's what will happen. Alexa will take all the data on you and your family and compare it to all the data on all the homes in Kansas City and match you up. And that's how you will buy a home. And that's the app that Rick Bert Barton was referring to. What other applications could this be? Alexa, uh, I, I've had a cold. I've had it for three weeks now. I need to get into the doctor and have uh, some diagnosis of what's going on. Fit it into my schedule. 
Alexa will do it. Put it on your phone and tell you when you go to the doctor. You won't do it. Alexa will do it. You'll say to Alexa, the family's decided, you've heard us talking about we want to go to Hawaii, we want to spend 10 days, we want to go between February the 2nd and um, February the, the 12th, and we have a three-day uh, window either side. Find us the best airfares, the best hotel. Our budget is uh, $15,000. Uh, have an itinerary on my desk to review uh, this evening and it'll be done. That's what's going to happen. You're going to talk to your Alexa on your phone. You're going to talk to her in your car. You're going to talk to her in your home. And you're going to talk to her in your glasses. And she'll take care of everything for you. And that's what's going to happen in the next 12 months because of quantum computing, 5G. 5G is, a mat, is an extension on 4G. It's using a higher frequency. The lower the frequency, the, the more distance in the waves. So 5G is a higher frequency, has shorter waves, requires more towers, more transmitters, if you will, roughly one and every 100 feet. That is being introduced as we speak. Many cities already have it. By the end of the year, most of the population will have 5G available and it will be on your smartphone. That will make it 100 times faster. Um, it will process 10 megabits per second, which is comparable to today downloading 1,000 movies in a second. The real important element to it is it removes latency or delay. This will make it possible for a doctor in New York to operate on a soldier in Afghanistan with a robot and not make a mistake. It will make it possible for you to interact with people thousands of miles away in real time. With the use of virtual reality goggles, you will believe they're in the same room with you. This is all going to happen within the next 12 months. Beyond that, we go to artificial general intelligence. Now, artificial intelligence basically means that you have the smartest guy on the earth for one subject that you want to pursue, buying a house. Artificial general intelligence means you have the smartest guy on the earth for every subject available to you at one time. So you can have very complex situations being solved through artificial general intelligence. That will be available within the next five years again through quantum computing. Then we will introduce machine learning and the computers will start teaching themselves. And we will go into the era of artificial super intelligence. And that is a whole new stratosphere of processing of data and learning from the process that you go through so that you can make more intelligent decisions. Beyond that, Elon Musk spoke of the process of which you will drill very tiny holes in your head 
and connect different parts of your brain to this artificial super intelligence and the human being will reach a new platitude of intellectual behavior. I don't believe I'll be around to see that. But you will. All of this because of the change, most importantly, in our medical sphere, will cr increase longevity. It will not be unusual for people to live to 120 years of age because we will eliminate disease. We just had Nita's cousin's daughter died at age 42 of cancer. If she had lived another three years, she would not have died. I lost my daughter five years ago this month from cancer. If she had lived another 10 years, she would have not died. This is astronomical. This is going to change your life. And what I'm here to tell you, it's going to change your life in the next 12 months. If we talk again a year from today, you will have a personal assistant on your phone that will take three to five hours of time out of your day that you can do other more productive things. This is going to increase the productivity in our economy. It will find new jobs for people who are willing to be trained in artificial intelligence and we are in the birth of a revolution, a data revolution that is up until now unimaginable. Okay, my next video is going to go in more depth into artificial general intelligence. Then I will do a video on artificial superintelligence. And then we're going to start ta talking about the privacy issues and who owns your data and who has the right to your data and what are your rights to your data because this is what's going to rule the world from this point on. Okay, if you find this interesting, if you find this educational, if you find this something you want to know more about, subscribe, ring the bell. When you ring the bell, it will ask you, do you want all notified of all of my videos or just those of personal nature? And the algorithm will figure out what that personal nature is. So. I'm excited about this. I just hope that I live long enough to see all of this come to fruition. We are about to enter the most glorious times of our life. And you're going to be a part of it.